after showing you how to use Stripe Checkout on mobile in Flutter, um, I figured out it's time to show you how to do it on Flutter web. So if you want to see how to accept um, payments in your Flutter web application, stay with me. Um, this is a continuation of the um, video that I previously published, uh, which showed how to collect Stripe um, payments um, in Flutter mobile applications. And if you haven't seen it, um, there is a link in the description where you can see it. So what we have right now is um, we have our mobile um, Flutter application, um, which has um, one button. Um, there's this homepage, which has the um, raised button, redirect, which calls redirect to checkout, which is uh, the um, mobile checkout um, flow that we did previously. And it works like this. Um, it redirects to Stripe checkout page where we have our very cool shoes. Um, we put some email, doesn't matter. And then we pay for our shoes. Um, and we redirect to success page, which is just a big success text. Yeah, so this is what we had on mobile. And what we want to do is now do it on web. And you might ask, why can't we just run the same app on web? Mm, the problem is that on web, um, in mobile, we were using WebView and WebView doesn't have implementation on web, which kind of like makes sense because why would you use web view on web? Um, so we need to go come with some another approach. And um, what we will do is we will just use Stripe library um, that like Stripe gives us and we will just call the JavaScript functions um, in our um, Flutter application. There are two things that we need to figure out. One is um, how to call JavaScript um, in Flutter. And the second part is how to do the flow with the Stripe, like um, how Stripe wants us to do it. So um, regarding the first question, there is a very cool JS library. Um, I mean, it's Dart library called JS. Um, which basically allows us to use um, JavaScript in our um, Flutter web applications. Um, and um, in the documentation, you might find it um, weird that um, it doesn't actually do what you want it to do, but um, it's mostly because it's so simple that you think that there's something more while there is it. So I will show you how to use it in a minute. Um, so that's the one thing. And regarding what we need to do, um, there is actually um, a documentation um, where we where everything is explained. Um, we'll do um, client-only integration to avoid implementing any um, server-side logic. So everything we do is just in our front-end Flutter web application. So. Um, the two first points are um, quite simple. One is to enable um, client checkout client integration. So I have already done it in the Stripe dashboard. And the second thing is to create a product. And I, I, I also already done it in the dashboard. Um, the um, very cool shoes you saw previously. So this is um, what we have from the previous steps. And now redirect to checkout. Um, so what we need to do first is to add the script import to our um, index.html file. So I believe I've already done it. And yeah, it's here in the head. We just copy this line and that's all. We don't need anything more. Um, after we do it, 
we need to um, so what they want us to do is to create a stripe object uh, with our key um, I will revoke this key so don't worry about it um, so we'll have to create a stripe object that will come from this, li this library yes and then on this stripe object we will call redirect to checkout function with some parameters so the question is how do we create this object in um, in flutter in flutter and um, all we need to do is use the JS library to create um, to create um, classes that look like um, JavaScript classes so to just show you how to do it um, let's have um, okay so first we need to have the um, library um, coding here we need to define the library so um, we will name it stripe um, we need to import the JS yep all right um, after that what we will need is the um, stripe class so um, we will just create class stripe and this class um, will need um, for sure constructor that um, here that accepts the key so we will have um, external stripe string key basically this is how we do it and we add the JS annotation all right and also um, this class will need um, redirect to checkout method and um, external redirect to check checkout and this redirect to checkout method accepts um, some sort of data um, we can call it checkout options options so then we need to create another class checkout options and this class will also be annotated with JS and it will need um, the fields that are in here so I will just copy them all right um, the line items are this actually you know what let me make it Um, so we have the um, line items, the mode, um, success URL, cancel URL. Um, session ID is actually not needed here, so yeah, we can remove it, whatever. And then um, the line item will be like those objects. So we need to add them as well, and I will just copy this. So um, this is almost um, all regarding the classes. Oh, actually no it's not because we have those fields but we also need the um, constructor or factory or whatever um, here we just create a factory I believe it would also work like this yeah maybe um, but I will leave it like a factory because I know it that it works for sure so um, yeah and we have factory here as well um, so we have this redirect to checkout which accepts um, those um, objects although as you can see um, we don't um, use the class actually like checkout option um, in JavaScript it's like anonymous class that just has fields so what we will do we will also add anonymous anonymous um, annotation um, here and in line items as well it will be JS and anonymous all right so we have the classes that um, kind of look like JavaScript classes and now the question is how do we call the actual JavaScript classes um, so um, let's create um, the method the same as the with the checkout um, 
subscribe to check out us in the mobile. Um, it can have context, although we will not use it. And here, what we'll do is we will just um, create um, Stripe. And then we will do, huh, my neighbor is doing a work, whatever, we need to work with it. Um, and then we will redirect to checkout, and here we will just um, pass the checkout options. Um, the line items will be the list of um, line item which needs uh, um, price, the price is the ID and I have it um, saved like that and the quantity will be one. I really hope that it doesn't really bother the, um, the recordings. <laughs> and besides the line items we can add mode payment um, and then we have success URL and cancel URL and here I will just do the um, localhost um, URL so it will work on our um, local applications. Obviously, when you um, release the app, you should do um, well, you, you should provide better uh, URL here. So, here we can have success, and here we can have cancel. Um, all right. So this is the Dart code, but um, it will, on, in the running web application, it will, um, be, um, it will be using the JavaScript library. So let's see if it works. I hope it does. Um, so we can remove the mobile import and add web import. Okay from main start. So we have our um, web application running on localhost 8080. We'll just click it and it redirected. Um, we will provide some email. And we will just try to pay and after we pay and it succeeds it will redirect to the success page um, yeah so we just accepted a payment um, technically it's almost over um, although as you can see what we need needed to do here is um, change the import um, to the web and now if we run it on mobile, it wouldn't actually work because you cannot even import those JS, this JS library that we used um, here. Uh, it cannot be even imported on our mobile applications. So um, it would be good to have uh, um, just one function that we work on both mobile and web. And this is what we'll do um, now. So we will create uh, one new class. We'll call it Stripe Checkout. All right, and let's just have the same contract as as here. Mm -hmm. mm. And let's create Stripe checkout stuff. So, um, what we will want to do is um, in this method we will want to call the um, this method should call um, either web or mobile um, implementation and here we can do fancy thing like um, we can import the stripe checkout stub so this is just a temporary class probably we will you should never actually um, be imported because now we can um, kind of like override the imports 
um, and say that if there is the IO library, um, we can use um, Stripe checkout mobile app dart. All right, and um, IO means it works on mobile. <laughs> and if there is a um, JS library, so we are on the web, um, we can use Stripe checkout web dart and everything we can um, import as implementation and here now um, so those two um, the mobile and the web have the same contract uh, we also need to copy this contract um, to the stub here and we can say that just throw um, supported error um it's well it's neither mobile nor web here. all right mm, so this is just like a dummy you should never actually be inside this code because in here um we will just do We'll just do this, um, which will be overridden by the mobile implementation or the web implementation. So now in main, we can just import Stripe Checkout and it should work on both platforms. So let's quickly check it out. Um, I don't remember the shortcut, it's like this. Yeah, we did hot restart on both platforms. Let's um, it work yeah all right let's go here it redirects um, all right and now on mobile It works as well. So now we have um, one code base that will be able to accept payments from both Android, iOS, and web. Mm, I hope you like this. Um, if you want, you can also see the um, written article. Um, the link is in the description. If there's anything that is um, mm, not clear to you just ask me in the comments section and i will try to answer it um, if there's something that you'd like me to um, show to explain also let me know and um, hopefully i will do it um, thank you again and bye